Talk with Dr. Michael Smith, MD. And now, here's the country doctor with a city education, Dr. Mike. So optimizing vitamin D blood levels through diet and supplements, my guest and, and including myself, believe that we can really reduce the risk and prevent the development of age-related diseases so prevalent within the African-American population. And we're going to talk about why vitamin D3 is so important, really, to all of us. And my guest is Dr. Richard Walker, who's author of African-American Healthy. And as I said, we'll talk about vitamin D and, and, and some other things that we can do uh, for the African-American population to reduce risk. Dr. Walker, welcome to Healthy Talk. Thank you. So let's let's just get right into this. Uh, we only have about nine minutes. What what's the significance of vitamin D three? Well, uh, the uh, significance is that vitamin D three, and we're emphasizing the three, is that every cell in our body, uh, all thirteen trillion cells, have a vitamin D receptor gene, uh, meaning that every cell in the body. Is, uh, is receptive and responds to vitamin D3. That's why you, when you read the literature about vitamin D3, it's all over the place it's about calcium, right, right. It's about hypertension and everything. And so these cells, when they are deficient in vitamin D3, these genes, depending upon what the gene is, is um, designed to do, Without the addition of vitamin D3, they do not function at their peak efficiency. So uh, you, we can talk about diabetes, we can talk about hypertension and renal mm -hmm. disease, cancers. Uh, vitamin D3 is, in, is uh, significant in that, first, it is a, it is a pro-hormone, uh, as uh, vitamin D2 is a pro-hormone, then it gets converted uh, in the uh, kidneys and the liver into vitamin D3. And the reason why we emphasize the three is the vitamin D3 is the bioactive form. That means it is the right. form that works on the cells. Now, there's some discussion about uh, vitamin D2 does that as well, but not as efficiently. And vitamin D uh, has to be converted into either D2 or D3. So I tell people, listen, Forget about all the science and all that, uh, uh, all that sort of stuff. Just take the D3 and you're home free. And it's not right. just for mm -hmm. African Americans. This is for all people. One of the reasons why I wrote the book is uh, there was a study that showed that 97% of all African Americans were deficient in vitamin D3. 97%. I think that's, that's I mean, everybody. It's, it's, um, um, then, it's, it's unbelievable. <laughs> absolutely. And then 70% of all non uh, non-dark skinned people are also deficient in vitamin D3. And then when you Dr. Walker, let's vitamin let's talk about that. I, I want to talk about why there's that difference. Um, but before we do that, let's let's make something clear here because you, you brought you brought in a really good point. Vitamin D is really a hormone in a sense of what we call a pro hormone and that's important. I want my listeners to understand the reason that's important is because hormones and pro hormones like vitamin D can directly talk to your DNA. So they're influencing many, many different processes within each cell line, and that's why it's so important to get your vitamin D blood levels up. Why is there such a discrepancy, though? I mean, listen, we're all pretty much deficient in vitamin D, but in the African-American population, that 98%, that's pretty high. What's going on there? Well, what's going on is that, uh, as I mentioned before, vitamin D, which we take in through uh, uh, nutrients, through uh, vegetables and green leaf uh, foods and milk and eggs and so on, that has to be converted. And it requires ultraviolet light uh, and what we call ultraviolet B waves. And uh, uh, the problem, the difference between uh, African Americans and or people who are pigmented and non-pigmented people is that the pigment in the skin prevents the conversion the efficient conversion of D to D3, simply because we can't get enough of the ultraviolet B waves in because of the uh, because of the pigmentation. Not only that, uh, what do we do? What's our, what's our lifestyle? Most of us are indoors. Uh, in order for us to convert the D to the D3, you got to be outside. A non-pigmented person 
Uh, if they went outside in the sun, they would uh, be able to convert vitamin D to D3 in about 40 minutes and get out 50,000 international units in that short period of time. An African-American person of color will take at least four hours to do the same thing. But then, if you look at our lifestyle, most of the time we're indoors and we don't, we're not exposed to the sun, regardless of what your skin color is. And then we wear long sleeve shirts. If you're not uh, African American, what do you do when you go outside? You wear a skin block. So it's the same thing, right, right. and that's why there's such a, a big difference. Well, let's let's talk then. Now, we we have to be careful because you know, as as medical doctors, Doctor Walker, we, we 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 know that there's no such thing as a magic bullet, a magic pill. There's a lot of genetic factors, lifestyle factors. But what how what kind of impact though do you think we could have on the African American population if we got half of the people optimizing their vitamin D blood levels? What what kind of impact would that have? socially, economically, would it really be, I mean, would it be that amazing? Oh, yes. I mean, it would be huge. Uh, let's just take one disease. Let's take prostate cancer, the number one cancer killer of African-American men. Uh, in studies where uh, 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 men of color uh, take or have adequate levels of vitamin D3, there's almost no prostate cancer in that, uh, in that group of people that are studied. Almost no prostate cancer. So to answer your question, imagine what would happen if most people of color used uh, uh, vitamin D3 and uh, were able to uh, take it uh, to reduce the uh, the, uh, amount of cancer. What we try to do is get patients at the blood level as close to 50 nanograms per deciliter, that's the use of measurement, as possible. The closer you get to the 50 the less likely you find cancer. In all people, in all women, for example, if you take uh, adequate levels of uh, vitamin D3, the rate or the incidence of breast cancer drops dramatically, almost 50%. And that's That's amazing. uh, You know, that's just fantastic information. And, and 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 to take it a step further... We're talking about most vitamin D3 products, good quality vitamin D3 products. You're talking about eight cents a day, five that's to eight right. cents a day. With Absolutely. this time, I mean, that's, I mean, it's, it's amazing. You talk about, it's probably one of the most cost-effective things we could do and recommend to our, physi- or to our patients. Dr. Walker, before we run out of time, your book is called African American Healthy, What You Need to Know to Protect Your Health. Where can people purchase your book? Uh, the easiest way is Amazon.com uh, or to go to the uh, publisher, uh, which is Square One Publishers out of, out of New York, and you can get the book there. So let me ask you this, and just this is more of a personal question for you and your own practice. Do you lean more towards the traditional medicine? Are you more holistic? Are you integrative? How do you approach your patients? Well, I'm really a functional medicine guy. I mean, uh, uh, where I work now, uh, I work for a corporate entity, and uh, it, with that corporate entity, it's almost all traditional medicine. But as a consultant, I do uh, functional medicine. I look at the individual okay. and, uh, and try to use as many, uh, as few medications as possible and really function on lifestyle changes, and that's the better way to go. Gotcha, gotcha. So you got about 10 seconds. Besides vitamin D3, what's the one piece of advice you'd like to give to the African Americans listening to this show? The single most important thing is that people should understand is food is medicine. If you eat the right foods and if you eat the right quality food, it might be a little gotcha. bit more expensive, but in the long run, well it's going it. to keep you healthy. Gotcha. Dr. Walker, that was perfect. You're a pro at this. Thank you for coming on the show. This is Healthy Talk on Radio MD. I'm Dr. Mike. Stay well.